Hey, welcome back for this new video with the panoramic. Now today we're going to take you through a couple of exterior elements on the panoramic and we'll also take a little bit more time to talk about the cargo area. So please come with me. So now we're here on the side of the panoramic, on the passenger side, right under where your awning would be. And you will notice we've put a few important elements on this side, starting with a 110 volt outlet. We also have a mini shower with cold and hot water and propane outlet. The goal for all this is if you don't want to do all the cooking inside, you could use your picnic table and recreate a complete kitchen outside. So you could connect your barbecue, you would have uh, uh, water to do the dishes, and you could use the electrical outlet to connect a, an, an induction cooktop. So use this space for cooking and enjoy the view at the same time. So we are here at the back of the panoramic to show you a little bit more about the cargo area. Now, if you remember in previous videos, we said that we have more than 200 gallons of storage space below the bed. We have a little bit more to it. A couple of drawers on this side to store some of your tools or electrical cord. And on the other side, we have our fresh water tank. You will notice that the fresh water tank sits pretty low on the chassis to keep a low center of gravity and improve the handling while you're driving. We also have the water pump there. And one of the reasons why we have our fresh water tank inside is that we want to benefit from the eating of the truma when we extend the season and temperatures are dropping. At least this will keep the water warm a little bit longer. So one more thing we want to show you is how to use the mosquito screen door uh, at the back. Very simple, just unclip, roll down, pull the zipper down and you're done. You can still use the bottom of the cargo area and if you want you can keep going further down, unroll, everything is covered. Now if you want you can unzip from the interior the upper part and keep a view through the windows pretty simple and durable. The last thing we want to show you is the mosquito screen for the sliding doors. Again similar to the one at the back, fairly easy to pull down, just unclip, roll down, take the zipper down and you're good to go. Nice thing about this door, it's a magnetic closure, so super easy to get in and same thing to get out if you have some food in your hands or something it's going to make the process of entering and leaving the rv a lot more easier this is already the end of this video and we hope that you guys enjoyed it we'll be back with more cool stuff about the panoramic but until then if you have questions or comments please send them to us and we'll take some time to answer them now feel free to share this video and we'll see you sometime soon.